HGTV shows you the renovations for a house and they do it in 30 minutes. Um, this takes like nine months to a year. We're here at 110 10th Street. We're done. We're waiting for the PSCG to go uh, turn on the lights, give us the meters. I'm here with uh, Raymond, Irma. They're buying the property. We can't go into contract yet because the property doesn't have electricity. So when the bank comes, they won't uh, approve it. Um, I have to have electricity in order to sell the house. So once the light goes on, I can order the appraisal. But I'm excited. And then obviously, we're cleaning up a little bit. All of this is extra materials that we take to another property so that we won't go to waste. But well, we did it, we're done. So this background noise that you hear, these are heaters. They're, they run off of propane, and this is actually on low. If I put it up, it, it makes a lot of noise, but it heats up the whole um, apartment. We try to warm up the property a little bit, and then after that, we uh, turn it off or bring it down as, uh, a little lower. But this is kind of cool. You gotta get one if you have a property that doesn't have any heat. I'm here with Raymond, Irma, Eddie, and Lena. Um, they're, they bought up my um, Hilden house and Raymond and Irma are buying this house. So I just wanted to ask them if they have any questions for me. Do you have any questions for me? Any question you want. How did you uh, put everything together in this house so quickly? Because I, and it's only been really a few months putting it together. So you know, Yeah, that's a really good question. and. Um, what happens is once you do, when you first get a job, right? And you, you go on your first day, it's always a little hard. And then you go on the second day and then two weeks later. And then if you, you're doing it for 10, 15, 20 years, you become faster and better. Um, and we just started knocking these houses down and building them probably like two, three years ago. So we are getting better and we are getting faster. The timeline on this house was, we started this in August. So it was August, September, October, November, January, February. Eight months. So we finished this house from start to finish in eight months. And then I'm hoping to do the next deal in six months. So we are getting better and that's a really good question. What is the value for this property right now in the market? Good question. So it's based on the square footage. So this square footage is, uh, I think it's over 4,000 square feet. So if you take the average price, say that's, um, whatever that is, say $150, you take 4,000, you multiply that by 150, then you get a value. There's another way for them to value these houses is based on rental income. So each apartment is gonna rent for like say 2,400, so that's like $4,800, there's a rental income approach. Mm -hmm. And then there's another approach that they use is a, um, re like the cost to build something like this, right? So they take a, a value of uh, say $80 a square times the 4,000 square feet and then you get a value on that. But this value is pretty pretty high. I think it's in the high 650s, um, in the over 650 range. Um, but it's a beautiful product. The rental income is strong. It has a two car garage, um, a backyard, and everything is brand new. So there's nothing old here. So good question. Eddie. I got a question in the DMs the other day where people say, well, you're running an ad on a, on a video that says, Started with 10,000 and made millions. How long it took you to get to millions? Well, I've been doing this for like 25 years. Um, you know, I think that the first deal that I did, I bought it with $10,000 and I, I paid only $339,000 for that house. And that same house today is worth around $850,000. So what I did was I refinanced that house and I took out say $100,000 and then I used uh, 50,000 on one deposit 50,000 on another deposit and then I bought two more houses and then I fixed those up and then I refinanced those houses and then I kept on taking the money from the third to buy the fourth you take the fourth and you buy the fifth so it wasn't that I did it overnight it was a 25 year um, you know uh, experience and a journey and then the other thing is you add different services right so Somebody could call me for roofing, for uh, electricity, for plumbing, and I can help them and then make a little bit of money on that side as well. So the money from the 10,000 and it, it generated millions of dollars. It's probably an average of anywhere from 500 to a million dollars a year. 
um, over the last 15 to 20 uh, years, and it's I spend it all. So, uh, but it, it's it's true, and uh, my taxes uh, are, are, are could be verified as well. <laughs> awesome. I have one more question. What's the most challenging thing for you to, to build a house like this, and you know, with your crew and the financing and the construction and the logistics and I, I, you know, it's so crazy because there are days that I. I HDTV shows you the renovations for a house and they do it in 30 minutes. Um, this takes like nine months to a year and there are days that I'm, I'm beat up. I'm having challenges with my inspectors, my bank, my employees, um, you know, just personal uh, challenges within myself and I can't get up sometimes. It's raining, it's too cold, um, but it's hard and, but I just keep on pushing. But when they, somebody shows you a beautiful house, and they're finished, there was a lot of headaches and, and, and obstacles and, and you know challenges that occurred from point A to point Z. So it's not one of those TV shows where they do the whole house in 30 minutes and everybody's happy. It, it's challenging and it's hard, but um, we're getting better and our crew is getting better. Our roofers, our bank, uh, the bankers are getting better, um, electricians, everybody's getting better. So I'm getting better. So as you, the more you do it, the better you get. So, but it's, it's hard. Therapy, therapy, boom! <laughs>